Okay, now I'm going to do my NASCAR Las Vegas predictions. As you know, tomorrow is the running of the Jiffy of the Penzo 400 presented by Jiffy Loop at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Kevin Harvick is starting on the pole. Of course, Kevin Harvick has had great success at this track. William Byron, last week's winner at Homestead Miami, would love to make it two in a row. And that'd be something because the 24 team has not won two races in a row in forever. So this would be the perfect time for William Byron to do so. But certainly Kyle Larson is hungry. He hasn't been to victory lane in over, I don't know how many years. Probably about, oh, let's say um, four, maybe three or two. Not sure when the last time he was in a car, but. It's a long time coming for Kyle Larson. I think this weekend at Las Vegas just could very well be his opportunity to do it. So don't count on Kyle Larson. He might get the job done. Martin Truex Jr. hasn't won at Las Vegas, or has he? But he's had great success at this track, but I would certainly love to see him go to victory lane, too. Let's not forget Michael McDowell. What a hot start to the season that it's been for him. He is not... He has never started this great in his career, ever. Not, not even in the top five in points. But this year, he's been the exception. He's been like... The, it's been like quite a Cinderella story for him this season, so... With Michael McDowell, anything that can go for him, so... I hope Vegas will... Be a big gamble for him, but... I think Michael McDowell might be able to pull it out just like he did at Daytona. We'll wait and see. Denny Hamlin has done pretty well, too. He's had some pretty good runs so far this year, but he has not visited Victory Lane. But Hamlin can do well at Las Vegas. He's not won, but he's had some pretty decent top five and top ten finishes there. Kurt Busch, of course, won last one race there last year. He's starting seventh, and alongside of him will be Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott, I think he has a great car, and... I think he might win at Las Vegas. I, I don't think his father ever won at Vegas, but had some great finishes. Of course, Alex Bowman, he would love to win at Las Vegas to put the 48 in victory lane. The 48 is definitely hungry to get a victory. And I think this race just might be the race it's, we see the 48 in victory lane. But Joey Logano who starts 15th in the 22. He's won several times at Vegas, so he knows how to get it done. And Kyle Busch, he starts in 14th, seven positions behind his older brother. So he's had great success at Vegas. He's won a couple times. Frank Keselowski, too, has won there. They've both had great success. Right, you anyway. Well, Ryan Newman, I think he, it might be a long shot for him, but when it's all said and done, he could do it. As for the rest of the field, Cole Custer pulled off a surprise win at Kentucky last season. Maybe he might do it again. You know, nobody knows. Ryan Blaney starts back in 26. He's got a long climb, but I think he can do it. A deep starting spot still means you can make up for it and come away win. It's happened before at Vegas, so it shouldn't surprise anybody. So, anyway, that's my Las Vegas predictions of Rose Favorite 1. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later for more videos. Don't go away.